Hi everyone, welcome to Cooking for Cancer and Chronic Disease. My name is Angela Zaccanini, registered dietitian. This is Eric Capazzoli, also a registered dietitian. We are bringing you some more snack ideas. Um, this version of the snack um, ideas are gonna require a little bit more preparation than our previous video. So if you haven't checked that one out, if you're looking for convenient, easy to prepare snacks, very minimal, preparation, pretty much no preparation at all. Check out that last video that we did. Um, this one is going to require a little bit of measuring, yes. um, a little bit more um, time consuming, I would say, but still not that level of cooking or anything intense. Right. Okay. So <clears throat> to break this down for you. Sorry, I'm going to move this. Okay. <laughs> we have a few different things to bring to you. So as you can see, some things are measured out and that's again where the preparation comes into play yeah so with our last video we really broke down the nutrient content of what you're trying to consume so of course when it comes to things that we have here like greek yogurt hummus cottage cheese in order to really know the calorie content the protein you have to measure those things out mm -hmm. right yeah. okay so for example our first recipe or our first snack um, or small meal we're gonna do is Greek yogurt. So, wanna break that down for us, Eric? Yeah, so with any of this, um, any of these items, you know, we wanna measure. I mean, in general, to kinda understand serving sizes, it's good to kinda measure out and just see the way things look. You don't have to do this forever, but if you have the same kind of bowl, this is how much it's gonna fill up, this is a serving for me. Uh, yogurts, just like any dairy, um, is gonna come in like the skim milk version, which would be 0%. 1%, 2%, 4%, which would be the whole milk version. Um, this one we have here is whole milk version, the yep. whole milk Greek. And Greek yogurt is really just regular yogurt that's strained, so it's thicker. Um, so real quick though, breaking that down between the milk fat percentages, the fact that this one's 4% milk fat, that means it has the highest fat content, right. therefore a little bit more calories than the 0% milk fat option, correct? Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, and it's uh, it shouldn't change any of the other uh, macronutrients. Right. So your protein is going to be the same. Uh, carbohydrates uh, are going to be basically the same as well. Now with the the Greek, uh, like I said, it's just kind of strained. Now Greek yogurt, you can do you know like you would do any kind of yogurt, just eat it by itself, add things to it. Uh, mm -hmm. You can use it as a base of of dips. You can use it instead of sour cream depending mm -hmm. on, on what you're looking for. We usually recommend Greek because of the protein content. Uh, you know, our patients uh, receiving treatment, you know, we need protein to help rebuild tissue, do all those good things for us. Now, for this, we have, uh, we're gonna do the cottage cheese and the Greek yogurt kind of the same way. Um, so pretty much the same thing with the Greek yogurt. Cottage cheese, uh, the milk fat is, is the zero, one, two, and four percent are going to be the same. Okay. Um, cottage cheese again. You can. I don't love the texture. Okay. So I, like I was telling you, I blend it, um, and you can use it as a dip, just like you would uh, Greek yogurt. So you can do, like you said, savory. Yeah, I prefer my cottage cheese savory. So I add like sunflower seeds or some sort of nut to my cottage cheese. But I know a lot of other people like them with pineapple, peaches, other sweets. Um, fruit, honey, things like that. Yeah, even like uh, chili flakes, put some honey on there okay. as like a dip. But very, uh, some preparation, but more minimal. So we're gonna do the Greek yogurts with granola. Um, yes, so we have granola and we have some fresh fruit that we're gonna add to that. So we had a half a cup of berries, correct? Mm -hmm. And a third cup of granola. So again, that requires some measuring, some thoughtfulness, some mindfulness related to that choice. Now, this is three-fourths of a cup, which is a serving of the Greek yogurt. And just to keep in mind that this is plain. So I don't know if we mentioned that, but no. if you do get something that has added fruit or a flavor, that's going to start to mess with the carbohydrate content right. and the added sugar content. So to eliminate that, especially if you're watching your carbohydrates, you're trying to put your added sugars to a minimum, add your own sweets, mm -hmm. um, some other alternatives like we're going to do today. Yeah, exactly. And then, uh, so just nutrition-wise for the Greek yogurts, 
So we're going to have three quarter cup, which is going to give us a hundred and oh, sorry, <laughs> one hundred and fifty calories, um, six grams of fat, seven carbs, sixteen grams of protein. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the granola itself is going to give us one hundred and thirty. Three grams of protein, 19 carbs, two grams of fiber. Mm -hmm. And then together, we're looking at, uh, oh, sorry, the berries are also going to add 30 calories. Yeah. Um, and some carbohydrate. So all of this together is going to give us 312 calories, 19 grams of protein, and 33 carbs and six grams of fiber. Yeah. Now, remembering berries, this is uh, blackberries and some raspberries. Raspberries are very high in fiber. So you're going to get a lot of fiber from that, fiber from the granola itself. I'm going to put it over here and I can zoom in yeah. just to see the portions. Um, and, you know, we're looking at that nutrient content and um, really wanting it to be balanced again to get you feeling full longer. Mm -hmm. um, and also just promoting nutrient-dense snacks. You know, yeah. when you hear the word snack, Maybe you think potato chips. Maybe you think a uh, uh, Snicker bar, yeah. right? But we have options for you that are going to be high in protein, um, minimal carbs, high in fiber, decent amount of calories to get you get you going to that next meal or snack. Yeah, most snacks, like you said, are um, they're they're basically just carb based. So yeah, you know, you have your any just straight crackers, chips, pretzels. And it's not to say you can't have those things, but if you're trying to um, replace and add some calories to your diet where you want to feel full, then we have to try to hit all those macronutrients. Right. Um, and in the same, same way with this, the cottage cheese can be prepared the same way. With the berries, uh, you know, you can choose your fruit of choice. That's going to alter the carb and fiber mm -hmm. content, but... Um, Granola is another weird one, uh, serving size wise, because if you go to the store and you're looking at your nutrition facts, they can be in half cup, third cup, quarter cup. So you just want to make sure you're looking at that. And again, you don't have to measure these things every single time, but uh, you know the first five times or so, and then you can kind of say, okay, this is a cup, mm -hmm. this is three quarter cup, kind of like the old grandma recipes, you know, or yeah. measure with love or whatever. Right, right. <laughs> And this is actually a half a cup, so it is a little less than what you would have as a serving for the Greek yogurt. Um, but as you can see, we used a different size bowl. Um, so it actually looks pretty similar in size, you know, and that's, we talk about doing smaller dishes, smaller bowls to make things look a little bit more um, appealing and also filling, yeah, right? Exactly. It's like you're a, a trick on your mind and eyes. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, calorie content for... Or this is just for the granola now. So for this is going to be 230 calories, 18 grams of protein, 23 carbs, and 2 grams of fiber. Mm -hmm. um, and one other, we also said, you know, kind of using it as a dip, our crackers, which, <clears throat> excuse me, we used in our previous video. The serving is 14 crackers. With that, is going to give us 230 calories, 18 grams of protein, 24 carbs, and 2 grams of fiber. So pretty much the same as what exactly, it would with the granola. Exactly, almost, yeah. Yeah, and again, with this, you could add uh, some chili flakes, some pepper. I like that, yeah. Some, you know, you can do honey. Again, that's going to uh, increase the carb content, but whatever, uh, you know, whatever you think would be uh, tasty. Yeah, you. more appetizing to you. And this is 14 crackers, like you said, mm -hmm. which is one serving. Um, and again, that's actually a decent amount, yeah. I would say, when it comes to carbohydrates or something that's a little bit higher in carbs. Yeah. Okay. So those are our higher protein snacks, would yes. you say? Mm-hmm. Um, Pretty balanced all the way. Yeah. And I think, I think dairy can get a bad rap. Yeah. So... You know, there's a lot of good nutrition found in dairy. And if you are looking for something a little bit less, I don't know, um, I think the, the issue is hormones and antibiotics used in the processing of dairy products, right? Yeah, I mean, it, 
it's that and this you know, can get a little yeah we're the yeah it can get a, a lost in the weeds you yeah know? Uh, people say like only babies drink milk or um you know we're the only humans are the only people that drink like another animal's milk which okay there you know there can be thoughts in that but it's it's pretty balanced and a lot of different cultures use yogurt you know we use cottage cheese our you know for uh a good source of calories protein and um, I can tell you a lot of patients might not drink milk but everybody eats ice cream so <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point that's uh, a good point so you know and, and again a balanced diet this can be part of it we, we want a varied diet you know whatever yeah. it is we don't promote any certain like very strict diet we want you to have you know uh, proteins including meats yep. including dairy we want you to have fruits and vegetables the the issue is Probably not getting a lot of vegetables in, in, in our diets, um, which can give us a lot of the antioxidants, polyphenols, all the things that we want that are uh, maybe not necessarily cancer fighting, but maybe. Provide properties that could be. Yeah, exactly. And do other things, you know, promote good um, skin and hair and nails and just organ health and liver function. And I mean, there's so many things that other colorful fruits and vegetables can promote. Um, but going into those hormones and antibiotics quickly, you know, to eliminate some of that, purchasing the high quality organic options mm -hmm. when it comes to dairy um, could be a way to help eliminate some of that, correct? Yeah, um, that goes back and forth too, I know. Like as we know. So it's, you it's know, difficult with nutrition. We struggle every day. Yeah, you know, so it's whatever, I, we always want to kind of come back to accessibility and there's a lot of True. like, fear mongering like you have to everything has to be organic and it's whatever is accessible to you not to say that these things are any better or worse currently yeah if you're going to buy something that's organic it's probably not going to have some maybe additives that you don't want but there's also some research to suggest otherwise so whatever is accessible to you is is what we we recommend um and depending on you know if you're buying food for a lot of people or if you're a single person that can vary of, of you know how much you can spend yep okay you know. sorry to go on a tangent about that but i know that's a common question and a concern for a lot of my patients in particular yeah and we really just want to pull down like fear surrounding food you know we want you to eat we want a varied diet across the board yeah uh nothing nothing super strict yeah i really tell my patients to eliminate any unnecessary stress associated with their food choices there's enough stress yeah especially yeah, uh, yeah our patients treatments and life-changing things so food we want to be as easy as possible absolutely so our, our last thing our last thing so we have original hummus so no flavor I know there's a ton on the market mm. garlic roasted red pepper jalapeno I mean I even saw they have dessert hummus now which oh, yeah. is actually a decent option if you're looking for something sweet yeah. um, so this is a half of a cup now the serving on our actual um, tub of the hummus is two tablespoons so if you're eating this with vegetables or crackers even I mean two tablespoons may not be enough to get you feeling full and even the nutrition content really isn't there right. so two tablespoons of hummus is only 80 calories and two grams of protein so we wanted to bulk that up to again make it a nutrient-dense snack for you yeah. so we have a half a cup of original hummus we have cut up peppers and we have baby carrots we also could use those crackers again yeah. Um, for something a little bit more savory or um, just a different texture if you're looking for it. Yeah. Um, but again, this is where that preparation comes involved. So having to cut the peppers. Going to spend a few minutes doing that, cleaning your fruits um, and your vegetables, and then, of course, measuring out how much hummus you're going to consume. Again, that's where we talk about the preparation being a little bit more so than what we talked about in our last video. Um, but to break this down, this is going to be a little bit on the higher calorie end. Yeah. Which, again, that's something we're looking for a lot of the time. Yeah. So, 320 calories, 8 grams of protein, 24 grams of carbs, and 6 grams of fiber. Yeah, and that's just with the vegetables and the hummus. That's true. If you add the crackers, it's... Even Yeah, what? it's going to increase. 400 some. Yeah, if you eat all the crackers. But, I mean, vegetables are very low, uh, especially these that we have here and with your baby carrots they're not always the best yeah we just tried a few they're not that great <laughs> so that's no preparation <laughs> so you can you know but 
Hey, they, they serve a purpose, you know, we eat them. I, I buy them when they're on sale, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, hummus uh, <coughs> in the same, same way, this is a plant-based option. So if you don't do any dairy, you know, this is what we'd recommend. Now, uh, can move this over a little bit? there is, there can be an issue with, because uh, we always, like we talked about it in a previous video, we want our snacks, depending on what it is, 200 or more calories. If it's those drinks, 250 or more calories. Mm -hmm. Protein base, we want about 10 grams and then 15 with the drinks. So this is not going to hit our protein. It's going to be close. Um, and again, you're going to eat protein like throughout the day with other things. So it's not like it has to be, but uh, just so you know, it's just going to be eight grams in that. And the calories too with this can kind of get up because of the oil in hummus. Right. And if you want to take it another step, you can make your own. Uh, it might be now a little you're getting less, a little crazy. Yeah, it might be a little less calories. A lot more preparation. Yeah. Or you could go to like a, you know, a store that makes it and buy there you theirs. Go. Yeah. 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 Little mom and pop in your neighborhood or something. Yeah. Okay. So that's what we have for you for our, I guess, medium prepared snacks. Um, we'll come at you with some level hard <laughs> or I guess a level up. Right. With the difficulty when it comes to preparation. And again, these things aren't difficult to prepare. It's just going to take a little bit more time than something you would just, again, like our supplemental drinks where you just, you know, crack open the um, bottle and you drink from it. So. Yeah. Yeah. And some of the things that we do in the next video, we, you may be able to use as like a meal prep. So you're doing it sure. a day or two in advance and then, you know, using it uh, for a few days. But with all this stuff, we're going to try to have, you know, we want you to utilize all of these things. Um, yeah, and let us know uh, your favorite hummus recipe in the comments. Yep, I'm gonna put in my email too if you have any questions, concerns, if you have any advice, feedback, we'd love to hear from you. Of course, leave a comment um, if you would prefer that way as well. So yeah. um, we look forward to hearing from you. We really appreciate that. Um, and again, thank you so much. We will see you again next time. Yeah, thank you.